I just observe people. And too many people in my life are lying narcissists. They pretend. Um, I have no idea if pretend a lot narcissist goes on my Facebook. But this morning I got a phone call and I had a feeling he did. And he says that he's sorry for everything that happened to me. Now that my real truth of tragedy that I wrote down that sometimes I might cry about, but I'm healed from it, but, you know, I might still cry, and it, it did happen to me. Now, he reads it, and he still can't admit to any wrong that happened within the four-month period of time. In fact, he can't even say that he was exactly like my late husband, James Lester Sapone, he was exactly the same. I wasn't allowed to leave that apartment. I wasn't allowed to talk to anybody on the phone. And my friend knew that. Now, he drove over to her place because she, she wanted to see me. And she's like, hey, I'll give the cheapskate five bucks. Right away, he gets in his car and drives over there. And, and complaining the whole time. Like, well... It doesn't, it doesn't even pay for the gas to die. And like, yes, it does. You're, it's only six miles away and six miles back. And that car doesn't take 12. It does not take uh, one, one gallon to 12 miles. I'm sure it's more than that. And besides two gallons of gas, it's put in there. Total lie, total lie, total lie all the time, all the time, all the time. Walks in there, where's my five bucks? That's all he cares about, himself. Where's my five bucks? While I'm tortured. Oh, but you decided to drive over there. Oh, no, she's, no, I'm going to leave right now if you want any alcohol. See, I have a choice because he's a driver. It's that or me walk all the way back. All the way back. So that's how much of a control freak he is. Uh, he, got, he got a gallon of gas in his car. And that's how much of a cheapskate he was the whole fucking time. When my husband was in jail. He's a fucking liar. Uh-oh. You made out like a bandit. Ah, uh, I made... I, I, my food stamps, my food stamps. You used all my food stamps. I, I made you so much food. like, what the fuck? He's like getting... Big, you, <laughs> big pancake. It's not done because it's so big. Yeah. Wow. A a and a thing of fucking rice. And uh, at least he allowed me to go to save a lot. That was a fucking nightmare. I decided to go at nighttime and I talked to these so called Jesus people on the street. Who give a fuck? They're right beside Dead Heart, uh, Gerhardt Building. So what? But I'm there talking to him for an hour, and I call him up, like, how many fucking times on the phone? Uh, I'm, 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 you know, I'm still here talking to him. That insane fucking nut had to come out and fucking look for me and call up his, his friends on the phone. Well, I, I'm so worried. She's, yeah, you know, like, I called you. I called you. To say I'm, I'm I'm still with them and I put them on the phone. That's how fucking nuts this fucking person is. Like like, what more you want from me? Unreal. What the hell that I had to put up with was this total fucking control freak, lying, saying that. Oh, I I didn't do that. You got to do whatever you wanted. Like no, absolutely not. I had no alcohol for the first fucking whole month and a half forced to stay and then there's this fucking retard um hunchback and i got three stimulus checks so he stole eight hundred dollars out of my red carrot but he automatically gave me back the 400 because i called my friend on the phone it's the only way so i'm smart like he's never gonna give it back 
I mean, I'm, I'm trapped, you know, like, I'll, 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 I'll tell Kathy. No, you guess what? Shit, I wasn't supposed to say anything. Um. Ten a lot nice to stole my fucking money. All eight hundred dollars of it. I, it was right in my coat pockets, and, and he saw. It, so he goes and magically finds it underneath the sink. Well, look, look now, now if I stole your money, now if I stole your money, then how? Why would I be giving you back to you right now? Fucking liar! Oh my god! Like he, he like. Wanted me to move in, and like, uh, you know, we're best friends, like, what the fuck? I, I, I can't even breathe. Like, my late husband, James Lester Sapone, he suffocated all his girlfriends. I mean, suffocation is like, God, let me go out to the park. And, and let me, you know, be by, all by myself. No, no, that's not a good idea, dude. Maybe you'll get the idea that I'm a total asshole. Like, yeah. Wow. That's why the abuser, the insane narcissist abuser, wants all of you all the time. So you don't have that chance to, to talk about them. Well, oh my God, you know... This happened to me, that happened to me, and I was stalked going to save a lot when I called him, like, how many times, and he got to talk to the girl and the guy who pretended to be a preacher. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, you know, that's, that's unhealthy, toxic, death relationship behavior. So, the victim goat needs another person to go tell them how insane of the the abuser that they they were forced to deal with. Like, well, you know, it's better just to fucking... You, oh, that's right, you can't pack it all up. Just leave while you can. Just get the fuck out of there as soon as possible. Yeah. All they want is total control. Now, I don't understand... Look at my hand. That looks kind of cool. Control. I do not understand why abusers go and, and let themselves be ripped off by so-called friends or what you know. Whatever. His God gave her all the money to his God. Right? I, 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 I don't even got a fucking penny from him, but... Oh, I, I, I need money for your, for your apartment again? Oh, oh, you need rent money? Oh, okay. So that motherfucker went to the bank. Opened up a bank account for me for my stimulus checks, right? But, oh my god. He gave her rent money that day. Yeah, like, you know, I put 25 bucks. Like, I, I really, I, he really took advantage of me stealing my food stamps, me giving him money out of my food stamps. Because, you know, I'm living with him, so I buy, you know, I buy him extra little fish containers that he likes to eat. And I, I thought they were pretty good. Like, I don't know what the hell they were, oysters or whatever, and little, like, it's just little fish containers. They're all right, like seven bucks. He has no memory of that. No memory of, of me giving him some of my hamburgers that weren't the best, but what the fuck food did he give me? <laughs> so I eat once a week. It was like, every day I woke up, he wanted pancakes. Yes, I don't eat pancakes, but you can't get through to an insane fucking person. I, you know what? I, don't, you know, I told him ten times, more. I, you know what? I don't like pancakes. It doesn't matter how many times I tell him I don't like pancakes. It doesn't get through. So anyway, my whole thing is, I got an apology this morning. Okay, but the apology didn't count to me because. Well, uh, I'm sorry for everything I did. Uh, uh, whatever I did. Like, whatever you did. You can't admit to what you did? Then you're not really sorry about it, are you? 
in my opinion. There you go. You're sorry for what? Well, just total bullshit. Because then, then uh, once they have you into their clutches, they try to get you control of you in their clutches. Once they have you, then they can go back on their fucking lives saying that they're sorry. Oh, come on. You're delusional. You make up stories. Yeah. You really need help. You really need that medication. You really, really need help. Really? Oh, my God. Let me go to the doctor's with you and tell, tell the nurses how much, how, how much help that you need. Oh, my God. She really, really needs help. Oh, my God. She's, she needs the medication so bad. It's like, well, that really makes a lot of sense. 23 years. The, for six months, the medication that they gave me, which I consider hell medication, am I allowed to say that? Uh, it...